The Strymon Brig is an updated version of the Brigadier, which was itself meant to be like the Strymon take on analog delay pedals, such as the Electro Harmonics Memory Man. Basically what this means is that the Brig specializes in a certain kind of spiky analog flavor. And in this video, I'm going to show you the five coolest things you can do with it. The first thing I want to talk about is that this pedal is voiced in a way that if you put the modulation around 11 o'clock and then you play volume swells, it can do the thing. By which I mean it can do the Eddie Van Halen trick of fading in your notes and playing against the repeats of the delay in a way that completely changes the sound of your instrument. <laughs> If you want the Eddie Van Halen setting, it's this. Now, I have mixed feelings about starting my video with instructions for how to imitate somebody else. Normally, I think imitating somebody else is not what you should be doing. But I'm making an exception because Eddie Van Halen is special and because I think uh, you can still be creative with this. I think there are still discoveries to be made with this style of playing. And just to be clear, what I'm talking about is you turn your guitar's volume knob to zero. As you pick a note, you roll the volume knob up with your pinky finger so the note fades in. And then before you play your next note, you put the volume knob back on zero and roll it back up as soon as you play your next note. And while you're doing all that, you're listening and playing off of the repeats being made by the delay pedal. The hallmark of this type of delay pedal is that at longer delay times, a certain glitchy quality starts to seep into the repeats. It almost sounds like bit crushing. It sounds like this. When I said before that this pedal specializes in a certain kind of analog spikiness, this is what I was talking about. So this pro tip is just the setting that I think emphasizes that in the coolest way. This is like the setting if you want to swim in the ocean of that.
by the way, if you want to buy this pedal or if you want to buy anything, I've got affiliate links with perfectcircuit.com. So if you buy from them and you use my links, I'll get a small commission on anything you purchase. I'll put the affiliate links in the video description. The next pro tip is what I found to be the sweet spot on the filter knob. If you set the pedal like this and then you mute your guitar strings while you're playing, it kind of sounds like you're plucking the strings of a piano. It sounds like this. I just think that sounds cool. That's the whole pro tip. The next pro tip has to do with that spiky quality again. Another way to drive that up is to turn up the repeats on the pedal. And while I was messing around with that, I started to think about how you can sort of think of a delay pedal as like a very low tech sampler or a very low tech looper where you can play one note or one chord and then turn the repeats up and the pedal will sort of grab that one note or that one chord. And then I was thinking maybe you could still play other notes or other chords after that by turning the time knob to pitch shift it. That's very hard, but it is doable. And another thing I want to note for this example is that even though I only played one chord, for that one chord, I was also sending the syntax error into the break because I wanted that one chord to sound as cool as possible. And the Syntax Zero is one of my favorite pedals of all time. This is part of why that one chord has like a little extra weird cyber attack bullshit going on. tip is another way to have fun with turning up the repeats knob. This time what I did was I set the pedal like this, but then I used an expression pedal to continually switch from having the repeats be all the way up to below all the way up. So while it was all the way up, it would start to get like runaway feedback. But then when the pedal went below that, the, the feedback would sort of wear off. So it was always on the brink of losing control, but it never fully lost control. But I wasn't using just any expression pedal to do that. I was using the sidestep, which is like an automatic expression pedal. So this was just continually getting the brake to go from having runaway feedback to not runaway feedback. And if you do that, what it ends up sounding like with these settings is a reverb. <laughs> So if you do that, you could turn this pedal into another Strymon reverb. How different is it from all the other Strymon reverbs? You know, it's a little darker. What, what do you want me to say? I think it sounds good. <laughs> 